Hi there, it's Clark from BlockBox, and uh, I'm going to um, show my team how to do a complicated merge um, for those who don't know how to do it, because uh, there's a lot of us working on this code base, and we um, run into problems with um, with merging pull requests and uh, having lots of branches. So this is the page that I'm going to merge. Um, as you can see, it's a landing page for our product, BlockBox. It has a lot of um, uh, marketing materials. Um, and we have a version of this page that uh, um, uh, different members of the team have been editing copy on. And then one member of the team had been um, modifying the structure of the page. So some of that copy conflicted with um, some of the page structure that had changed and uh, led to a non-trivial merge. But what do I mean by that? Um, if I go to my code here, or into my terminal, you can see that I, um, I, I'm in the develop branch, and I want to pull the, uh, the master branch. So this is going to pull some copy updates into this um, develop branch where uh, some layout structure changes have already been merged. So as you can see here, we've conflicted on this one uh, file, landingpage.pug. And if I take a look at the file, look for my merge markers, there's a very large section of the file that has been conflicted. It's like most of the file. And that's going to be really difficult to merge manually. So what I'm going to do is use a merge tool. And uh, for this, I'm going to use kdiff3. So the first thing you'll have to do is, if you're on a, on Linux, is to install kdiff3, which um, you can do using apt-get install kdiff3. Once you do that, you'll have to your git to use kdiff3 as its merge tool. We, you can see this is done by a git config dash dash global dash dash add merge dot tool kdiff3. And lastly, I'm going to type git merge tool. And git is smart enough to know that I want to take all of my conflicted files and load them using a special tool. And let's have a look at what that um, results in. So you can see here, um, KDIF is um, already going to do a much better job. Let me just um, switch to a different screen. Much better job of merging than Git alone. It's much smarter, and uh, it deals with um, uh, the um, HTML developer having changed the indentation here, which has really been the source of, um, of the really difficult merge, the diff source of the difficulty. So there are five unsolved conflicts, however, that I'm going to go through manually. You can see that there's actually four different windows here. And that is what really makes this tool so much easier to use than just uh, merging directly in an editor, because I can see the original file that was common between both of these branches. I can see my local branch, which was develop and contains these, this indentation change throughout the file. And I can see the remote branch, which is master. So and then lastly, at the bottom here, this is my output. This is what I'm going to create as a result of this merge. So you can see that um, this top part of the file is just fine. It's been automatically merged, and we don't have to worry about it. Um, but when we get down to this point here, it says no source lines. Um, that's not a big deal. It just means that one of the files introduced an extra line or removed a line, and uh, you don't actually have to do anything. It's just flagging it for you. Suppose that I want to not include the, the line because it kind of looks maybe a bit cleaner. Then I'll just stick with what it's chosen here, which is no source line. Um, the things that I really need to pay attention to is where it says merge conflict. So 
this is a case where KDIF has not been able to figure out what to do. And uh, to deal with it, I'm going to right click on merge conflict. And you can see it highlights here, in here, in here, in all versions of the file, um, what the line looks like. And uh, you can see that the designer um, edited this file by you probably using a plugin in his editor. It indented it further. And then this person, um, this is actually me, um, changed some copy here um, to make the copy, to make the wording different on this page. So we want this wording, but we want this indentation level. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. I think it's going to be simplest to change the indentation. Um, so I'm going to, ch I have to choose one version. I'm going to choose C, which has the copy change. And now you can see the indentation's wrong. So I'm going to manually hit the space bar a few times to move the indentation out. So the indentation matches this, um, this, uh, file here and the copy matches this file here. In fact, this copy isn't even that good. I think we should mention our, the name of our service here. Okay. So moving on to the next merge conflict again, right click. I can see that uh, this one's a bit interesting because I can see that um, the CTA button selector there is actually used in all three. Let's just see what happens if I pick the, um, the design change, the one that reflects the design change. Um, sometimes you'll see things that look a little confusing here. Um, But um, you can see, okay, what's actually happened here is um, the merge tool has done something that a human probably intuitively wouldn't do. It's saying that this CTA buttons line here is actually new, and this it's and this one that was actually already in the file is being replaced by just this one line, which isn't a very good explanation. So it's a bit confusing. But when you're in doubt, just have a look at the output in the final file. And I can see that this selector lines up with the heading above it, which is what I want, because that's that's what it is in the designer's file. So um, I know that this is this is correct. Because he's, you can see what he's done here versus the original. His intent was to remove the shadow class just because it's commented out and not used. And he's removed um, an extra class that we don't need from this. Um, the selector. So we really just want his version. And as you can see in the output here, we've got it. So it, the merge tool doesn't, um, doesn't magically solve everything for you, but it sure makes it a lot simpler, um, compared to merging a hundred lines. I just have to merge like one or two lines at a time. So our next merge conflict here, I think, uh, everyone's chosen some different copy here. I'm going to go with the copy uh, on the right because it's going to take us to the right page. And again, I have to fix the indentation because that, that needs to be done manually um, if, I, if there's a merge conflict. In every other case, the um, indentation has been intelligently fixed by KDEF, though, which is pretty huge. It saves me a lot of time. So here we have a uh, vastly different copy in this landing page um, in version C here. So I'm going to choose version C again. And uh, for some reason, it's chosen, KDIF you can see has chosen to exclude this new copy here. So I'm just going to manually add it in. Um, it's important to pay attention and to make sure that ma the manual output of the code still makes sense. Okay, so that's uh, that's all I have um, for you today. Um, I'm going to save the output, and uh, this file is going to be correctly merged. Thanks for watching.